resuming debate, the reprise de débat, the R member for Kitchener South Hespler. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, today I'm proud to support the Honourable Member of Danforth's motion to declare June 10th as Portugal Day and the month of June as Portuguese Heritage Month. In doing so, I know that I would have the support of many Portuguese Canadians in my riding of Kitchener South Hespler and throughout Waterloo Region. I also know that uh, my members in Kitchener Centre, uh, Cambridge and Waterloo would fully support this motion as well. Um, uh, one thing, Madam Speaker, I want to talk about is I want to send uh, my condolences to all those in, in, in Portugal that were affected by the, um, by the fires um, this last summer. Uh, we can relate to uh, uh, the fires that happened in, in British Columbia and Alberta. And uh, we all know that there's been uh, many families and, and property that's been affected in Portugal um, with around roughly 30 people that have been, uh, been killed in those fires. So our condolences uh, to go, goes to those family members that have been affected. Canada has become a home to many people of Portuguese heritage, with the Portuguese language being ranked as Canada's 10th highest immigrant mother tongue in 2016. One of the first large waves of Portuguese migrants arrived in Canada in 1953. Since then, many people of Portuguese origin have come to Canada in search for greater opportunities for themselves and for their families. Today, there are approximately 483,000 people of Portuguese birth or descent living in Canada, of which a significant number make up the Portuguese Canadian community in my riding of Kitchener South Hespler. According to the 2016 census in Waterloo Region, is home to just over 21,000 Portuguese ethnic origin and a little over 7,000 of whom are born in Portugal. In Waterloo Region, the Portuguese community is welcoming and vibrant. Whether I am celebrating Portugal Day on Saturday morning at Escola Listana with students and teachers and parents, or watching and celebrating the 2016 European Championship Final at the Kitchener Portuguese Club, I am always welcomed with open arms and walk away with a rich, rich sense of community. I have been at the club on numerous occasions, whether it's uh, close friends' engagements, weddings, or for community fundraisers and festivals, I always enjoy the company of the members of this great community. I am proud that the Kitchener Portuguese Club is in my riding of Kitchener South Hespler, adding to our cultural mosaic since it was established in 1969. Part of the club's mission is to be positive influence on the local community, and they do this very well. Cambridge is also home to two Portuguese clubs which serves our region. Together, all these institutions support Portuguese Canadians in preserving their cultural heritage and traditions and sharing these with the community as a whole. Supporting this motion is also of personal significance to me. I was privileged to grow up with many Portuguese Canadians in Kitchener. In fact, my very first job in high school was working at a restaurant owned by a Portuguese Canadian. And before I started university, I worked for another Portuguese Canadian, uh, an entrepreneur in the construction field. With great certainty, I can say that both of these individuals helped me lay the foundation for the person I am today. Uh, these two employers instilled in me their values of hard work, ambition, and dedication. And these are the values, Madam Speaker, that I stand for each and every day as an MP as I fulfill my duties. Earlier this year, during the second week of June, I spoke in the House about celebrating the Day of Portugal, Camões, and the Portuguese community. Every year on June 10th, Portuguese Canadians across Canada celebrate what is popularly known as Dia de Portugal. The date marks the anniversary of the death of the greatest Portuguese poet who have ever lived, Luís de Camões, uh, who captured the essence of Portugal, its history, and its people. It's the day for the diaspora to celebrate their cultural heritage. In Waterloo Region, I celebrated this day at the Portuguese School and the annual Portugal Day Parade in Cambridge, alongside with uh, other members from Kitchener Centre, uh, uh, Cambridge, and Waterloo. This past June, waved into the day's cel celebrations at the Portuguese School, was Canada's 150th anniversary since Confederation, 
a celebration of their cultural heritage and this country as their home. Portuguese uh, Canadians have contributed greatly to fields such as politics, business, arts, science, and much more in Canada. This community has helped shape an exceptional Portuguese Canadian culture that is an integral component to the Canadian mosaic. This motion recognizes the important contributions of Portuguese Canadians in building Canada and to Canadian society in general. Motion M126 celebrates the cultural diversity of Portuguese community in Canada and the importance of education and reflection upon Portuguese heritage and cultural for future generations. Madam Speaker, I want to close with a lot of the Portuguese that have immigrated to Canada, that have come from Portugal, immigrated uh, a long time ago, whether it's in the, in the 50s, in the 60s, in the 70s, and, and many years beyond that, uh, they came for better opportunities, better opportunities for their families and for themselves. And with this, they came here and, and they helped really build the foundation of our, our communities, our cities that we live in today. And for that, we want to thank and honor the Portuguese with this motion. And I believe that this is a motion that we can all uh, get behind and, and really support this because we really want to uh, ensure that we honor the Portuguese that have contributed so much to the social fabric, to our communities, and, and to everyone around this nation. So thank you, Madam Speaker. Oh.